Hi guys, Dan Picard here with Eastman's Bowhunting Journal. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Matthews Vertex. Down to just about freezing. This is the flagship for 2019. You'll see it looks a lot like the Triax of last year. It's just two inches longer axle to axle. So we're at 30 inches axle to axle, still the six inch brace height. You'll see the riser configuration is still the same with the harmonic stabilizer. They say it's 20% quieter this year. Probably what my guess is how they did that is that you have a longer axle to axle bow. You don't have such a harsh string angle and that string is gonna slap a little less aggressively. The Vertex, 20% quieter, so that is something new for this year, as well as the Engage Grip, which is also new. What is actually pretty cool this year, what they did with the mod system, is made this bow available in five pound increments. So 60, 65, 70, and 75, and that's all controlled by the mod up here. So there's no loosening the limb bolts or anything like that to adjust your draw weight. Bows are most efficient and perform the best when the limbs are maxed out or screwed all the way down. Something else that's new for this year is the QAD Matthews Integrate Rest. Uh, it attaches by a dovetail right here on the back of the riser, so there's no rest bolt anymore. You see this little plug in there, and that just makes it a little more streamlined, and, and I kind of like it. So that's kind of cool. That's also new this year. Man, nothing much else to talk about with this thing other than it's a great shooter. So let's knock a couple arrows. We're going to shoot it and we're gonna see what kind of speeds we're getting. Also new for this year is the Q-Light Quiver. This is a two-piece quiver, carbon rods, seven ounces. You can't beat that, it's my new favorite quiver. I've always been a fan of two-piece quivers. I just like two points of contact on my arrow very spread out. So obviously the top and then way down at the end. I like how it just, it's tight to the bow. There's no rattling or vibration of the arrow, so I'm really a two-piece quiver guy, and man, this has become quickly my, my new favorite. Now, this is 29-inch, 75-pound mod on it, 85% let off. This is a Bloodsport Evidence 350. I think it's cut to 27 and three quarters. I have a 20 or 125 grain head on there, so this arrow is 488 grains. So that's pretty heavy arrow and we have a 75 pound bow. So let's see what kind of speeds we get. I'm pretty excited. I haven't chronographed this yet. So we'll see what we get. All right, we'll turn this on. All right, 488 grains. Let's see what we can do. I mean, you can tell it's a noticeable difference. It's 75 pound pull, but it's not uncomfortable. But it's a little more than just pulling a normal 70 pounder. 292 pretty fast 488 grain arrow man that is crazy if you think about it for how much heavier of an arrow that is for five pounds that's pretty fast you don't really want a hunting arrow going much faster than 300 feet per second anyway because you just get broadhead flight instability at distance and so anywhere in the 290s i think is pretty fast for a hunting arrow all right let's do another one 294 Oh, it's smoking. Darn near a 500 grain arrow going 294. That's a buffalo crusher. And we'll do one more. 293. So I think that's pretty consistent. 292, 293, 294. Out of the 75 pound, 85% let off, 29 inch draw Matthews Vertex. Can't complain about that. Pretty darn quiet bow. This is what I'm gonna be hunting with this year. So make sure you guys check out more videos on our YouTube channel, check out our bow reviews, and don't forget to watch Beyond the Grid. Your life will be better if you watch Beyond the Grid. So until next time, Dan Picard, thanks for watching.